Hello students, let us continue the session on fractions. In the previous session, we completed exercise 7.2. In today's session, we shall take up the new exercise 7.3. Write the fractions. Are all these fractions equivalent? If you observe this first one, it is 1 upon 2 because 1 is a shaded portion. In the second, if you observe, it is two parts out of four parts which are shaded. It's two by four. In the third one, if you observe, there are four parts, sorry, three parts shaded among six. In the fourth one, the four parts are shaded out of eight parts the question here is are these fractions equivalent suppose if i divide both the numerator and denominator by two i get one by two so these two are equivalent same thing if i do by dividing by three to both numerator and the denominator I get 1 by 2, it's also same. If I divide this by 4, both numerator and denominator, if it is divided by 4, I get again 1 by 2. So all these fractions are equivalent. So this means that all fractions are equivalent so the first one is done they are equivalent let's look at the second one in the second one you observe the number of circles there are four circles shaded out of the 12 in the second three are shaded out of nine in the third there are only two shaded out of six. In the fourth, one shaded out of three. In the fourth, it is one shaded out of three. In the fifth, it is six shaded. Count it. One, two, three, four, five, six shaded out of 15. Are these equivalent fractions? For that, let's simplify this. We can divide both numerator and denominator by 4. If by 4 is done, we will be getting 1 by 3. Here, you can divide both numerator and denominator by 3. We get 1 by 3. In this also, we can divide by 2. We get 1 by 3. This is as it is 1 by 3. Now if you divide both numerator and denominator by the highest common factor which is 3, if you divide by 3, we will be getting 2 by 5. This particular fraction is different fractions than these fractions given here. So it means that these fractions are not equivalent. What we have done is we have expressed each of these fractions in the simplest form. They are not the same. So we can conclude that the fractions given, the fractions are not equivalent. Hope I have made this very clear. Let's answer the second one. Write the fractions and pair up the equivalent fractions from each row. There are two rows here. In the first row, we are given the alphabets A to E. In the second row, it's the numbers in row 1 small, 1 to 4, 5. You observe carefully, fraction representing A is 1 by 2. The fraction representing 
b is 4 by 6 the fraction representing c is 3 by 9 and the fraction representing d is 2 out of 8 2 by 8 the fraction representing e is 3 by 4 Can we make them in a simplest form? Yes, we can divide both numerator and denominator by 2. So if you divide it, we will be getting 2 by 3. In this case, you will be getting 1 by 3 if you divide by 3. In this case, it is 1 by 4. In this case, it is 3 by 4. Let's have a look at 1 to 5 in 1 to 5 in small Roman. Which is the first one? If you count the number of shaded portions, there are 6 shaded portions out of 18. Sorry. Yeah, out of 18. In the second, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 are there. In those 8, 4 are being shaded. So it is 4 by 8. In the third, we have 4 of them left out out of 12. It means it is 8 by 4 are being left out. It means 12 out of 16. There are 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 4 are 16. So it is 12 by 16. In the fourth, we have 8 by 12. In the fifth, we have 4 by 16. Let's try express this uh, in lowest form. This will be 1 by 3. This will be 1 by 2. This can be divided by 4. It becomes 3 by 4. In the fourth one, we can divide both numerator and denominator by 4. It becomes 2 by 3. In the fifth, we can divide both numerator and the denominator by 4. We get 1 by 4. Just observe it. Observe and compare. You can match the first row with the second row. So A is 1 by 2. It matches with the second option. B is 2 by 3. It matches with 4. C is 3 by 9, which is 1 by 3. It matches with 1. Uh, D is 2 by 8, it matches with 1 by 4, that is fifth one. So we have done the matching of the first row with the second row. Question number 3, we need to replace these boxes with the correct number. These are again questions which are related to equivalent fraction. Suppose if I take this first one say 2 by 7 which is equal to 8 by I'll take it as some variable x so that it becomes easy for the calculation so we need to do crash multiplication here crash multiplication is done in this order the numerator of the first is multiplied to denominator of the next and the denominator of the first is multiplied to numerator of the next when you do the crash multiplication, you will be getting 2 times of x is equal to 8 times of 7. So the value of x will be equal to, you divide both the side by 2, you will be getting 8 by 8 into 7 by 2, which is 4 times. So 4 multiplied to 7 will be 28. So the first number is 
28 here this is 28 let me do one more so that remaining you can do on your own let me take a uh, this time G. So 45 by 60 equal to 15 upon I'll take this as say letter Y so 45 Y will be equal to 15 times 60 so y will be equal to 15 times 60 divided by 45 15 3 times is 45 this is 20 times so y value we get it as 20 therefore this number is 20 there is yet another method i'll be telling for the question 5 which is e to get 4 from 24 I need to divide by 6 so this number has to be divided by 6 to get this number so 18 by 6 will be equal to 3 this is another way to obtain the equivalent fraction now to just tell the answer for this to get 20, 5 to be multiplied by 4, so 3 to be multiplied with, you think, 5 is multiplied to 2 gives 10, what should be multiplied here to get the number, you can think and try this, question number 4, find the equivalent fraction of 3 by 5 having denominator 20 denominator 30 denominator 9 sorry numerator 9 and numerator 27 let me take this c to get denominator 30 from this number we need to multiply some number to this get denominator as 30 5 multiplied to which number gives 30 it is to be 6 so 6 to be multiplied to the numerator also hence we get 18 by 30 let me tell b to get the numerator 9 from this number 3 by 5 we need to multiply some number which is that number it is 3 3 3 times is 9 so 3 5 times is 15 so the number is 9 by 15 having numerator as 9 so you can do this remaining two questions i have done c and b I want you to solve A and B. Question number 5 is similar to the previous question. But in the previous question, we had multiplied some number. Now we need to divide. So let me tell. To get the numerator 9, what to do? The given number is 36 by 48. We need to get 9 in the numerator. Let me change things so that you will understand it better. To get 9, I need to divide 36 by 4. So I need to divide 48 by 4. I will be getting 12. So 9 by 12 is that fraction equivalent to 36 by 48 having numerator 9 let's discuss b from the given number 36 by 48 i need to get the denominator as 4 to get the denominator 4 i should divide both numerator and 
denominator by a number which is that number 4 is obtained on dividing 48 by 12 so we need to divide by 12 so that the given number is 3 by 4 so 3 by 4 is that equivalent fraction of 36 by 48 having the denominator as 4. I will also tell another method of doing this. Let me take this second one. We need to find out the numerator and the denominator has to be 4. This is equivalent to 36 by 48. Now we need to find out the numerator. The numerator will be equal to you cross multiply. We get 36 times of 4 by 48. 4 12 times is 48. 12 3 times is 36. So the numerator is 3. Therefore the fraction is 3 by 4. To tell this method for first one, the numerator is 9. Denominator I will take it as D. This is equivalent to 36 by 48. Now you do cross multiplication. D will become equal to 9 to be multiplied to 48. And it has to be divided by 36. 12 3 times 12 4 times 3 3 times we get the denominator as 12 so the fraction is 9 by 12 this is another way to get the equivalent fraction with the given numerator and the denominator question number 6 in this question we need to check whether the given numbers are equivalent or not. In the first one, we have 5 by 9 and 30 by 54. Are they equivalent? We need to check. To do that, what we can do is, we can multiply this numerator of one fraction with the denominator of the other. We get the product as 270. The same done with denominator of the first with the numerator of the next. We get it as 270. You observe these two are equal. Therefore, 5 by 9 is equivalent to 30 by 54. Let me tell the third one so that the second one you will do on your own. In the third, this 7 has to be multiplied to 11. We get 77. When 5 is multiplied with 13, we get 65. They are not equal. So 7 by 13 and 5 by 11 are not equivalent. Hope you have understood this. Let us take question number 7 as the last question for today's session. The question here is to write in a simplest form. In this two of the questions I will be solving. For instance, I'll take uh, the second one and the fourth one. Let me take the second now. 150 upon 60. This 150 is nothing but 30 times of 5. And 60 is nothing but 30 times of 2. This particular 
30 get cancels in both numerator and denominator will be left with 5, 5 by 2. This 5 by 2 is simplest form of 150 by 60. Let's do the fourth one. It's 12 by 52. This 12 is nothing but 3 times of 4. 52 is nothing but 13 times of 4. 4 in both numerator and denominator, they get cancelled. We will be left out with 3 by 13. This is the simplest form. Simplest form of 12 by 52. With this question, I am ending today's session. We shall take up few more questions in the next session. Thank you.